Hello everybody, welcome to the card for Wrestlemania. I'm Jimmy Ventura and with me is Gorilla Mezzo. It's finally time for the weekend we've all been waiting for. The showcase of the immortals, a term we have coined for JFW Wrestlemania number one, 2021. Saturday and Sunday, 8 p.m. UTC. That's right. We invented this, folks. The two days of Wrestlemania glory, and you can only watch it live on JimmyFantastic.com. And do not forget if you want to participate live in the show you've got to be a subscriber so get those twitch primes a rolling folks glorious <laughs> all right let us take a look at what the weekend has in store what do we got here surprise first match our saturday show is an undercard of overachievers and here's two of them right here the tag team of rude ham is taking on dress for business some also was and some has beens if you ask me <laughs> rude ham looking to finally cement their three-month-long attempt at a return <laughs> taking on the former champs lemon is good and fan fox jimmy ventura i know you're a big rude ham uh the rude ham supporter let us know what you think this one's got for us oh, absolutely. it's going to be brilliant isn't it and i mean as you can see they're both dressed for something aren't they <laughs> so <it's> <laughs> <laughs> different kinds of business but you couldn't be more right <laughs> yeah i'm sure that'll be absolutely fantastic <laughs> Indeed. Next up, oh, the big men are going to collide, slapping some meat together in the middle of the ring. It's Goliath versus Table Leg Wanger in a clash of the Titans brought to you by Snickers. <laughs> yeah, the, t the two <laughs> biggest humans in the JFW and arguably the two sexiest also. <laughs> Oh, uh, I, yeah, I, you know, you're not going to find many people are going to argue against that. Certainly not the Chugman Milk fans out there. <laughs> it's going to be, that's going to be epic, isn't it? What a, what a huge throwdown that's going to be. Indeed. All right. And next up, here we go. This is the one I'm looking forward to the most this weekend. It's a traditional Blitz Pit match with four of the biggest names in Blitz Pit commentary. You've got your two hosts, Dimmy G and Eliod, and you've also got the greatest Blitz Pit commentator of all time, Skuramezzo, really giving me a run for my money, if you ask me, in terms of greatest overall commentary. And also the old blind man himself, Purple Chest, this is a 1v, 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 1 blitz pit match, and that means it's extreme elimination, but there's a special way to get people out. You can either pin them or submit them like you'd expect, but also KOs count and stick. So you got to believe anyone taking that vicious Skuramezzo pop-up powerbomb is going to be done and dusted in this one. But it could go pretty much any way but Dimmy winning it. And I cannot wait to see how that one's going to play out. It is going to be incredible. I mean, Purple Chest, of course, he's got that Tombstone pile driver. That could certainly knock people out as well, couldn't it? I think he's my pick for this one. Fair enough. You already know mine. <laughs> yep. And here we go. 3v3 tag team. We like our trios matches. And on one side, one side, they need no introduction. It's the YPA, JBG, and Foxmania, former champs in the JFW. And they are being led to battle by Sharp himself. It is literally Sean Bean leading the trio of the YPA. The Yorkshiremen are looking south, though, at a returning trio. It's the crew that's capital. No, that's lowercase CR, <laughs> capital E W E. The crew haven't been here in a while. Almost screwed up that tagline. They're from Wales and they really like sheep for some reason. Do I need to explain more? <laughs> what do you think is going to happen in this one, Jim? Obviously, one of these two teams has had a little bit more practice as of late. But the crew, you know, they've got the Sniper Dio. They're led by W.R. Spenny and, of course, the undefeated, if you ask him in his own mind, <laughs> Artemis Black. Will he even get a chance to play wrestling? It's pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah, Yorker versus Wales. Uh, this, is, this is quite the match. There could be a bit of ring rust for the crew, but uh, I can't wait to see what they produce. Indeed. And then here we go. 
this might as well be the main event if we didn't have an even bigger match coming up after it. It's a Hell in a Cell return for what used to be Mighty AF. <laughs> Three out of four salutes there. Uh, Tony plays poorly. Frost Lord, Just Joe, and Clavius. We all know exactly what happened the last time they were in Hell in a Cell demolished by six feet down under and uh, tony was never the same after that fractured mighty af and now these four guys are going at it in a four-way dance within the confines of hell in a cell fireworks gonna fly in this one jim no it's gonna be amazing isn't it i can't wait to see this and this will for once once and for all put an end i guess to mighty af unbelievable indeed and like I said, that would be the main event if not for this match announced by General Manager Teresa Mame just last week. It's the Gimps of the Ring Memorial Royal Rumble, folks. 20-man Royal Rumble featuring your JFW superstar favorites. Just a few of them on screen right now. You've got Physics, Dave, Squirrel, and the rest. I don't need to read them all off. I got to tell you, I would love to see Unseen Walker walk in and out. Well, not out, but walk in and then walk out a winner in the Gyms of the Ring Memorial. I got to believe winning a memorial in the name of our fallen CEO and founder, Jims McMahon, would be a springboard for their JFW careers. And I'd love to see former champion Unseen Walker move uh, move up that ladder what about you jimmy ventura yeah it's, i mean it's incredible isn't it and this is you know this is this is going to be a 20 man royal rumble so there's other people there some have been announced some haven't it's going to be amazing we don't even know there could be someone uh, someone else turn up uh, I, I quite like physics you know physics hasn't had much of a run on the uh, on the shows and he, but he's a hell of a wrestler isn't he he's like a, a giant neville which is pretty incredible so uh, <laughs> absolutely Absolutely. The man that gravity sometimes remembers physics <laughs> might have an advantage at not falling over the ropes and hitting the floor. But of course, of all the men on your screen right now, only one of them has actually won any sort of Royal Rumble. And that is Dave, <laughs> the fan favorite, winning that 10 man Royal Rumble to save his job at Survivor Series. Can he do it again in a 20 man Rumble? You'll have to wait until the main event of our Saturday show starting at 8 p.m. UTC only on Twitch on Jimmy Fantastic's channel. Yeah, that is amazing, isn't it? And what a WrestleMania that would be. But we're just getting started because it continues on Sunday. Absolutely. Sunday starting same time, 8 p.m. UTC. WrestleMania's main card is going to kick off with an Elimination Chamber match for the Plim Plum Pluserweight Championship. Of course, that title recently vacated due to the actions of Muppet Pac-Man joining the Snackers uh, against Teresa Mame's orders. So we will have six high-flying Plim Plum Pluserweights competing for that title. Every single one unannounced mystery should be wild. And in my, in my recollection, there has never been an elimination chamber match at any wrestlemania on any brand so we're doing it here first on jfw wrestlemania absolutely glorious and we can't really predict who's gonna win but it's it's gonna be amazing to see who's in the match and amazing to see who wins if i had to pick my favorite plim plom plus away to win it i'm going with Lebred mask the first and the favorite plim plom plus away hopefully he even makes the cut to make the match but no more on that, folks. It's time, finally. Crusher versus Marcel means Crusher versus Marcel. Those were the, the commands of general manager Teresa Mame when she came back, disgusted that Crusher versus Marcel has been bumped from television for the better part of six months now. <laughs> this feud has been waiting in the wings, and what better place to put it on than at WrestleMania, and what better stipulation than a table match? Crusher versus Marcel. Marcel maybe the advantage there. Doesn't have any size or strength advantage on <laughs> Crusher, but he does know how to win a table match he or sure come does. pretty close. But you can see it in his eyes there. He's still not looking forward to this one. All I can say with great certainty, folks, is that 
absolutely 100% this match is going to happen because a Tory made a campaign promise, <laughs> and you know they always follow through with those. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. Finally, it's not going to get booked. Not gonna get bummed for a bloody backstage brawl. We're finally gonna see Crusher versus there. Marcel. I'm so hyped. It's gonna be a zero percent chance it gets bumped for a backstage <laughs> brawl. Cannot wait for that one. <laughs> and next up, folks, this one. What a story to tell. Six fate down on the versus the returned unnatural snackers. But this is for a singles championship, the JFW World Championship, currently around the waist of the undead voodoo prince himself, Night Demon, the leader of Six Feet Down Under. It is only winnable by Johnny Five. If any of the snackers get the pinfall on any of Six Feet Down Under, Johnny Five will be your new champion. That's right. The two leaders are eligible to win the title. They've got their best bros to help. Will it be the heart and soul reunited coming to the the rescue of the JFW to stop the undead horde, at least partially responsible for the death and destruction of Jim McMahon and his limo a few weeks ago? Horrible events took place, and now... Sponsored by Snickers, so you got to know the Snackers are up for it. Can the Snackers reclaim the, well, not reclaim, claim that JFW title from Night Demon and six feet down under? Or will the undead rampage continue? And what does that mean for the future of the JFW? Oh, baby, it's unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, you've, you've got to hope that the heart and soul of the JFW can defend us from this horrific undead onslaught but uh it's a it's a tough ask hasn't it sure is jim sure is but if anyone's up to it it's johnny five and speaking of people who are way up your wem dope champion jimmy fantastic has won every single match he's been in since winning that title a month ago and defending it on every single show jimmy fantastic is calling out the best of the best, saying anyone can answer the challenge. Wem Dope Open Challenge, Jimmy versus whoever answers the call. And boy, we could speculate all day. If you're asking me, I'd love to see Skurametsu come out. You know, they had a legendary feud early on in JFW history over the world title, and it never went Skuro's way. What a way to cap a year's worth of JFW for Skuro to come out and win it. But we're just grasping at straws here we have no idea who could come out who do you think it could be i mean that that does make sense that would be an incredible way to bookend it but um i mean can, can he even beat jimmy fantastic can anyone beat jimmy fantastic it's it's gonna be a tough ask it certainly hasn't happened in a while but the last time it did it did interesting point by you it was table leg wanger absolutely yeah. dominating jimmy could he answer the call and could jimmy be in for another whooping from that big man coming off his uh, his match on Saturday night. Maybe. Who knows? The only way to find out is live on twitch.tv slash Jimmy Fantastic. Glorious. And now, folks, you don't need much told to you about the amazing tag team division of the JFW. The Two Heads Championship is on the line. You're surprising champions <laughs> breaking dad and his son matt storm they are breaking storm winning that title over the greatest of all time if you ask them and probably a few other people dos hats that's lean gary and oriolentris oriolensis the country wizard <laughs> They claimed they were going to be four-time champs, but then out of nowhere, cock and ball torture not only added themselves to the match, but got it made into a TLC tag match, one of the most exciting match formats in the JFW, and this one could go any way at all. I mean, we've seen the country wizard levitate to win one. You know, you've got two high flyers in Moradam and Matt Storm who can get up that ladder in about a millisecond. And then, of course, cocky, lean Gary and, and breaking dad. You know, they can lay down the thunder whenever they need to. Who's your pick in this one, Jimmy Ventura? Oh, God, it's going to be an incredible match, isn't it? Um, I can't I can't look past the crazy cowboy and the country wizard. <laughs> I think they'll you know do what? it, you know. 
I'm I'm right there with you. They're my pick. Four time champions. Just there's no tag team better than Doss Hatch. It's Lean Gary and Oriolensis. They're getting both commentators picked, so that probably bodes poorly for them. <laughs> Who knows though? We'll find out on Sunday. Oh yeah. Oh, and now, Jimmy, maybe you want to take over introductions on this one so I don't uh, up our rating from PG to R. But let me tell you, career versus career, I can guarantee you that Seagull's going to be squawking for mercy by the time I'm done. I've been training all week for this one, and I'm ready for it. Elp. Oh, Jim, take it over. I can't. I'm just boiling over with rage. <laughs> well, look, Gorilla Mezzo has had one of the greatest matches of all time in the JFW. With yours truly, Jimmy Ventura, I don't see how Elp can stand up to, to that barrage. Uh, you know, this is this has got to be a whitewash. It, it's gonna be it's gonna be glorious domination for Gorilla. Surely, um, yeah, that's it. That's that's a match that's gonna happen. <laughs> Absolutely. I can tell you with great certainty, there's a 0% chance Elp is walking away with a job after I'm fucking done with him. <laughs> I almost didn't swear. It's and okay. that's going to do it, folks. Your main event time, extra arms belt on the line. Rick Reckless, the challenger, won the Royal Rumble in a surprising return after walking to hell and back to help destroy the taints. That had been corrupting the JFW champions of the former Chaos Chosen Championship. Now destroyed in the fires of Mordor, we assume we'll tell that story sometime. Rick Reckless is back, and he's facing the original Extra Arms Belt champion. Extra Arms bought himself all seven foot whatever and 600 whatever pounds of that robot. And folks, it's not just man versus machine. It's Iron Iron Man match, man versus machine. How the hell is this one going to happen? Rick Reckless expected to go 20 minutes bell to bell against extra arms bot who outweighs him about four to one. <laughs> and every single pinfall and submission will count towards the tally. The winner with the most at the end gets the prize. Unbelievable oh, yeah. stuff. What do you think about this one? I can't. How can you pick against Extra Arms Bot as good as Rick is? That's the thing, isn't it? I mean, 20 minutes going toe to toe with this wall of steel, it's just going to be grueling, isn't it? I don't know how you expect the human body to stand up to such punishment. Well, the only thing we know for sure is that you can watch that match and all the rest we just announced live on Saturday. At 8 p.m. UTC and then again live on Sunday at 8 p.m. UTC on twitch.tv slash Jimmy Fantastic. Folks, that's going to do it for me. My name is Gorilla Metso. As always, thank you for having me. I cannot wait to see you all on the weekend. We've got back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back JFW action starting Friday with our, pun or our final show of JFW stand firm before WrestleMania weekend kicks off. Tune in then 8 p.m. UTC for all of them. I'll see you then. And I'm coming for you, Elp. <laughs> Glorious. Thank you very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.